what's up everyone thanks for joining me in this new three-part series that i'm going to be doing on why i believe nano tanks and all-in-ones in general are the future of our reefing hobby and just aquarium keeping in general um, in episode one the topics i'm going to be covering are all-in-ones uh, the ability to stock and create a full mixed reef and just long-term tanks overall success uh, for me, there's a lot of benefits to all-in-one systems and the ability to be able to stock and create a reef that you saw on the internet that got you into the LFS in the first place to even consider setting up a tank like this is very important. And then just overall long-term success. Um, I don't want people to get into this hobby and you start off and in six months you're back out the door selling all your equipment on Craigslist for half price. Um, so I do believe nano tanks are the future. And I do believe all-in-ones are really what's going to take our hobby into the next generation. So, you know, just like anything else in life, once you start upgrading and moving into the next level of things, you know, you make your next decision, you know, level two is level two. But as a beginner hobbyist and just a person in general starting out in this hobby for the first couple of years, I really believe that all-in-one nano systems, you know, 50 gallons or less, even this JBJ65 that CJ and Rico have, those are really nice tanks. And for someone that's never had a tank before, it would probably be really easy for them to be able to set those tanks up and be able to keep those tanks long term as opposed to if they bought a 40 gallon breeder at Petco and started trying to figure out how to drill it, how to build an overflow box, how to make a sump, how to add a baffle kit, how to plumb all of this stuff, how to plumb it correctly, how to not make it look like crap, how to get it all to work. You know, I just think it's easier and I just think it's a better way to move forward in the hobby. You know, like I said before, level two is level two. If you're if you're on the level where you can afford a 350 gallon system and go through the trial and error and learn and afford to have 500 pounds of green hair algae filled rock full of Aptasia because you thought it was a an enemy, <laughs> well then you know that's on you. But for the general public, something that's easier, something that's more realistic, something that's plug and play something that can last and be able to be moved and looks beautiful it's it's the way forward and when we talk about benefiting in the reefing hobby it's really the ability to stock your reef tank to be able to fill this thing up full of corals that are going to thrive and grow and fill in all the rock and really get you that reef that you envisioned when you first started you know when you went online and you saw someone that threw all their goldfish in the garbage and filled it up with reef fish from all around the world, from the Indo-Pacific, from Hawaii, from the Red Sea, from the Caribbean, and you have all these colors and all these combinations of fish and coral and just everything in it, and it really creates a beautiful ecosystem. And you're able to do this in a nano tank a lot quicker. <laughs> you're able to buy SPS frags and you don't have to worry about a three quarter inch frag looking weird and disappearing in a 300 gallon system because you know in your 30 gallon system it's going to look like a piece of coral and you're able to get multiples and just generally spend less money in the hobby. Um, frags don't look like frags in a smaller system. Frags look like colonies in a smaller system. And it's just a, a mind state of what have I created without having to wait five years to have basketball sized colonies in my tank? Because I know in a year from now, this frag is gonna have multiple branches and it is gonna grow. And me having multiples of them and my buying cost being a lot lower, the ability to stock this tank becomes much easier and a lot more fulfilling. And you know, when talking about the next generation of reef tanks, it's really why I believe nanos and all-in-ones are the future. The next generation of reefers are gonna be looking for things that are more modern looking, things that look like furniture, not just fish tanks in their home. Things that don't have a million wires and a million plugs and a million pieces. They like the simplicity and the ease of use products, plug and play products. Um, and it's just the way the world works and the direction we're going just all around. So for me, having a Nano and all the benefits of it it's just a lot easier, you know, the cheaper buy-in price on smaller equipment, the back sump area that's a lot easier to work with as opposed to a traditional sump on a major system. Um, just overall tank size inside of a home, you can stick this thing anywhere, you know what I mean? It's not a, a 
500 gallon system that's never going to move. Um, I really believe the modern looks and the styles from Innovative Marine, Red Sea, and Waterbox really take you to the next level. Uh, the buy-in price on lighting. Lighting for me, I think, is the most expensive piece of equipment you're going to get on your reef tank. Um, so you don't need that XR Gen 4 Radeon $1,000 light on one of these systems. I've used a black box my first year and a half on my Innovative Marine tank, and it grew corals like crazy. Um, the ability to really stock your tank quickly and get that mixed reef look that you were looking for when you walked into the LFS and said, you know, I'm going to go for this and I'm going to set one of these tanks up. For me, that's the benefit of having an all-in-one. And, you know, for me, I do believe that fulfillment in this hobby comes from long-term success when you've had that tank for two years, three years, five years, and you can really see the, the growth and the success due to your ability to keep this reef um, on a smaller level. It's not that hard to start over a reef that's 30 gallons. You know, if it's green hair or algae ever took over my tank and I needed to start over, I could spend literally 40 bucks, buy new rocks, start this tank over, and not really have to throw everything away and quit and say I hate it. But if I had a 150 gallon system and I have hundreds of pounds of rocks and Aptasia come in there, I'm not, it's gonna be a really hard task to really get all that stuff out and it's gonna cost me a lot of money to start over and you're probably not gonna to wanna to do it. Your loved ones are probably gonna tell you, get this crap out of here. Um, but on a smaller system, you're able to reset if you need to and it's not gonna cost you a million dollars to do so. Long-term success for me means you're gonna see your fish grow and they're gonna become pets. Just like your cats and your dogs in your home and you're gonna love them and you're gonna to get to really see them grow and thrive and maybe your clowns start to spawn maybe you want to take it to the next level and you start raising these babies and just so on and so on that's long-term success in the reefing hobby for me it's watching these 20 to 30 to 40 frags that i have in here grow into small little colonies that are going to make me say hey i need a bigger tank but when I go to that next tank, I don't have to worry about starting from scratch because I have a smaller system that's separate from a bigger system that has proven success. And I know because of the ease of use, because of the way that it's set up, I'm going to be able to keep it going forever. I'm going to be able to move it as my life moves. I'm going to be able to change it as my life changes without having to worry too much about costs and just overall things going negative and going downhill inside one of these reefs because they're smaller and it's just easier and it costs less money and they look nicer and it is the new thing. <laughs> A lot of products are coming out for design specifically for these tanks. Now, am I saying as a hobbyist, you're not ever gonna wanna go up to a 100 gallon system, 200 gallon system. Of course you are. Um, I'm at the point now where I do want a bigger tank, but I do understand that I'm at a point in my hobby where I'm not a beginner hobbyist anymore. I'm now making videos. I'm now trying to give other people advice. I'm trying to get people to follow my metho methodology. Um, I'm not a beginner acquirer. So having a large system with a sump, it's the next challenge that I want. Um, but even in researching new tanks and what I want to do next, I find myself looking back at now, Innovative Marine has 100 plus gallon all-in-one systems. Do I really, really need a sump if I have an all-in-one system that's big enough to where I could have a refugium, a ATO, have a skimmer section and everything else in it. And then just talking about all of these things, you know, all of the different little topics, the benefits, the ability to stock, long-term success, um, just overall, it's easier to maintain. And maintenance for me is one of the things that I hate the most about this hobby. It does keep you 100% in tune with the tank and it 100% has to be done. You have to feed your dog, you have to bathe your dog, you have to give it tick remover if you let it go outside. You have to go and check and make sure it didn't eat the frog, um, so to speak. The same idea in reef keeping, you, there's things you have to do. You're gonna have to get your hands wet, but for me, maintenance is important. Once again, I just want to thank everyone for checking out episode one of this series. All-in-one nanos are the future, guys. Hit that like and the subscribe button, and I'll see you next time.